Hello YouTube, I'm Zach, you're watching Zach DTV, the place for interesting news from around the net. In today's episode, we have an extremely heavy lift drone. We're also going to look at a new frog they just found in the Amazon, and we're going to wrap up with a robotic valet. Alright, let's get right into this. Alright, let's start right off with some drones. A little while back, I did a story about a drone that was heavy lift enough that it was able to carry 220 pounds up high enough to drop somebody to skydive from. I thought it was amazing. It blew my mind. I couldn't believe that they had a drone that you could skydive from. Well, JD.com, that's China's version of Amazon, has beat Amazon to the punch with doing drone deliveries. And their drone, it's a three-rotor, three-motor, autonomous drone, can lift a ton over 2,000 pounds. This is a metric ton. It's like 2,200 pounds or something like that. This thing is ridiculous. So instead of taking one person skydiving, you can hook 10 people up to this thing and drop them from the air. How cool is that? Now it's not in use yet. They did just start doing test runs with it. And their plans for this is to use it in the Shanxi area, the Shanxi province in China, to help farmers with produce delivery. That way they can get this stuff from the more rural areas into their distribution center quicker. So there you have it, JD.com beat Amazon.com into the drone delivery market. And of course they plan on expanding this to cover all of China. They want to use it on the Silk Road project they have coming up and eventually use this drone worldwide. Right now it does have a range of only 186 miles. So they got a little ways to go on that. But if you think about it, They've got the room there. They can cut the carry weight in half and add more batteries. I wonder how much range they could get out of this thing. Hmm. Interesting to think about. For my next story, let's talk frogs. Researchers recently announced the discovery of a new glass frog. Glass frogs do exist. They're transparent. What makes this one so cool is you can see its heart beating. A lot of times these glass frogs, you don't see their circulatory system and stuff because it's transparent. Well, this one, you can watch its heart beat. How neat is that? I'll put it up on the screen, but I'm not even going to try to pronounce this one because I know I'm going to mess it up, but that's the name of the frog. They fear this frog is already in danger. In the area that they figure is its range, there's a lot of road building, deforestation, and oil exploration, which is just killing this thing's habit. Another thing that's odd about this frog is that the males guard the eggs. They actually hang out while the eggs are attached to the underside of a leaf and they wait around for these things to hatch and drop into the stream below. At that point, they leave. It's not too often in nature that you find a male who guards the nest. And researchers are hoping to figure out why this evolutionary trait took place. And to me, the craziest part of the story is we are still finding unknown species on our planet. I mean, we're exploring other planets. We're looking at putting people on Mars. And we don't even know everything that lives here on Earth yet. So there's still a lot of exploration to be done right here at home. And for my final story, I want you guys to meet Stan. This is a new robot from Stanley Robotics, and it is an automatic valet. This has been put into use at Charles de Gaulle Airport in France and takes human error out of the parking equation. Basically what you do is you pull it into its specially marked space. You either order it by an app on your phone or the kiosk right next to it. And this will come pick up your car by the wheel so it's not damaging anything and go and deliver it to its parking space. According to Stanley Robotics, this has a lot of benefits. It can handle 400 parking spots, should be able to park around 20 to 30,000 cars per year. And because it doesn't need room to open doors or anything and there's no human error involved, you should be able to fit about 50% more cars into a parking structure. And while they say there's no upgrades needed to the existing structures, there are some things that you can get rid of, like lights or markings on the ground or even the or even the fans to get rid of exhaust because there'll be no exhaust. So in the long run, this will save a lot of money and a lot of resources by implementing these robotic valets. I came across that video today. I thought it was cool and I share it with you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And with that, I'm going to wrap it up. And hey, if you like what I do, go ahead and click that subscribe button over here. I do this thing five days a week. That's Monday through Friday. It's Thursday now, so I'll be back tomorrow. I'll see you guys then. Be safe.